hey guys welcome to today's video and today we're going to talk about cutter table the cutter table as you know it and i've previously made such a video and i can see you guys already liked it and many more of you i would, would like to know a, a little bit more about the cutter tables and that's why i'm making this video today so uh we'll start by what is a cutter table according to forbes library.org so um, according to forbes library.org charles army cutter devised an alpha alphabetic order table to help catalogers map potentially long words and phrases to short alphanumeric strings so that sorting by the strings also correctly sorts the original words that simply means that whenever you have a book that is uh, let's say you have such a title as you can see a time to kill by john uh, grisham and probably you have another title that has the same order so the cutter table only assists you to further subdivide this book and make sure that they do not fall if they, they they do not talk about the same topic they do not fall under the same shelf line when you're doing your shelf reading or the shelf list so um let's just do a few examples using the cutter table from library of congress as you can see here i've shown you how to get this from before so just go to uh google search cutter table and use the option that takes you to library of congress cutter table and you're gonna see something like this so this simply means um you can use this table to further subdivide your call numbers so let's go back so let's start with the first one i've already written the way they're supposed to be according to the order you have to first start with the surname which in our case a time to kill by john grisham we start with grisham uh, stroke uh, grisham hyphen or comma john so that is the correct way of doing it and then we start by the first letter of the surname uh, first let's start with the uh, dot uh g and then now we can cut out the rest of the name so it's gonna be g go back to the table uh g is gonna fall under um consonant because not it's not a vowel so after the initial letter and then you go to the consonant so after the initial letter which is g consonant what it, what what letter follows which is r so if you go to your table four which is initial consonants g r r is seven so our first cutter should be g dot g seven the second one dot uh w this is for hatton uh hatton edith our second book the house of mirth by edith hutton so uh, go back to your table table uh, for consonants because also w is a consonant the letter that follows is a h go to your initial consonants as you can see here we have a uh, they have not written the other letters but i'm just going to read them a b c d e f g h i so between e and i we have our h which we are looking for for hatton so it's gonna be e we start with the first letter on that category between e and i so we start with a four and then going back to the table again because for the four was for the e but the h is it, we, it's e f g h high 
so h is closer to i so between e and i there's an assumption that we usually do as librarians between e and i there are 10 digits or let's say 9 0 to 9 so if h is closer to the uh, i is going to be the imaginary numbers between e and i is going to be let's say a 9 because it's closer to the end we can give it an 8 or a 9 somebody can give it an 8 or a 9 let me give it an 8 so with that you're done because um, you've already categorized the letter according to what the cutter table says and then our last uh, book is by Steinbeck John so this one is gonna be of course S uh, let me do it in caps and then going back to our table after the initial letter S so you can see here we're not going to go any longer to the consonants even though S is a consonant we've been given an another option which is saying after initial letter S so S is after the initial letter S we have a T going back to the table T is 7 as you can see so always follow the rules that the table gives so in our case T is 7 so that is it so for these three books that is how you cut her I know um, sometimes people get confused where you have a letter that is not showing like what we had here on the um, second book by Hutton Edith so we can you you can comment down the sec uh, the, the comment section let me know if there's anywhere you got confused I can always do an explainer video and why we have those in imaginary numbers and, and and how we do it so thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe like share and also leave your comment down Thank you.